Hello Taurus, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Let us see what the universe has for you. Taurus. Mm, high Priestess. Starting out with the unknown. Yes, Taurus. Showing up in your own reading. You got the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. New job, new... Um, Promotion. Looks like you're trying to figure out maybe if you should take this. Your intuition is telling you there's this new opportunity that's headed your way. And I feel like that um, opportunity is about to materialize. I feel like maybe for some of you guys, you've been laying low kind of maybe inactive, maybe a little blah. It looks like there's possibly a Libra, maybe even a Scorpio who is holding back or maybe preventing some sort of continuation. Because here with the Two of Pentacles, I mean, that Two of Pentacles can mean all kinds of things. Uh, maybe you were robbing Peter to pay Paul. Maybe you recently got cut off. Cell phone got cut off. Cable got cut off. Um, and you were, you guys may be watching a lot of these videos, especially to see if your money is about to normalize. And with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, I can say yes, it will. You guys have been having these readings as of late about money and makes sense to me i'm reading for taurus yeah there was some sort of uh, financial deficiency <clears throat> mm, three of swords oh did you just go through some sort of divorce or breakup angel said to me somebody it kind of feels like maybe somebody was controlling your finances Oh, angels just also said to me too, alimony, with especially with the Ten of Wands, right? This burden, if it's not alimony, it could be child support as well. Yeah, somebody is in conversation or dialogue with you about payments. Yeah, somebody, yeah, looks like somebody needs money from you. I don't know. It kind of feels like you um, may not be in communication or may not. How can I say this? You're being kind of lax when it comes to maybe this help because this person is. Um, I just heard they burn through money quickly. And they, they keep coming back to you that you guys go back and forth with the. Um, Queen of Swords and then also the Three of Swords. Yeah. Looks like you had to cut them off and it hurt them. I'm going to put down the third row. Let me see what's on. We saw the Ace of Wands there. That um, new beginning and newfound love. New connection. Oh, you had to cut this person off because they were being a burden to you. I also kind of feel like a lot of you guys knew that they were going to come back, that they were going to ask again. Oh my God. All these cards fell on the floor. This, this person seems to be like a repeat offender. Five cards fell on the floor. So I'm going to take all five cards. Yeah. This person feels like a repeat offender. Yeah. Look at that. Three of pentacles. I don't know if this person refuses to work or out, or out of work. Page of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, yeah. <clears throat> that just says to me, you've helped them out twice already. Moon with the Five of Pentacles. Oh, that kind of says to me, there was some sort of emotion related to the request. They could have cried, they could have broken down. Oh my God, I just lost my job. Like, something of that nature. Four of Wands, you got four and four with the Emperor. That's dad, right? So you can have an adult child, you can have a young child. Yeah, this kind of, to me, feels like some sort of child support. 
you're taking care of maybe the younger child, the older child might have came to you asking for some support and you might have said no and um, said to them, yeah, you need to create your own uh, financial stability. Yeah, you had to cut them off. That's This is Scorpio for me too, and that's definitely Scorpio. So I feel like, yeah, you had to cut them off and it hurt them. But I feel like from your standpoint, you're, you're looking at it as in um, you cut, you're cutting them off so they could do it on their, their own or stand on their own two feet. And remember the two of pentacles, he, he or she is kind of off balance, right? This is an interesting. That was pretty quick. Yeah. The, the, the key to this person, like the res resolution is to get a job, but I feel like you became a source of finances for this person. For some reason, there's some sort of fear or, or deep issues or deep emotions related to, oh, angels just said to me the guilt trip. So this is somebody who makes you feel guilty or perhaps you felt guilty, maybe because you weren't there for them and you've overcompensated by, you know, giving them money, making sure they're financially okay. But it kind of feels like, especially with this Knight of Wands here sitting next to the Three of Swords, they might have taken uh, your kindness for weakness or they may have taken advantage of your kindness. Because here you are, here you are, Taurus. And I also kind of get this person is capable, right? The Empress, that's Venus. She, you know, she's the queen of everything. She's the mama of, of creation. Oh, angels are also saying too, your person is pursuing creative pursuits. So they could be a singer, a dancer, actor, something of that nature. I feel like you want to help, but I feel like this time around, um, yeah, you're drawing the line and it's going to hurt and it'll probably hurt you more than it hurts them. I know anytime a parent say that this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. It's like, well, why hurt anybody? Just give me the money, dad. Right? <laughs> like. Um, it just kind of feels like it hurt you too, to have to say no or to pull back. Cause to me, it kind of felt like a bottom, bottomless pit, right? Whatever the emotions are here with that five of pentacles could be you, you, mm. It feels like there was some sort of absence, right? Neglect, abandonment. Abandonment is physical abs absence. Neglect is, you know, um, non-physical absence, right? The absence of love, or the absence of attention, the absence of your presence as in being present when you're around them. They have some deep emotions about that. And I also kind of feel like that was the root of their abuse towards you as in continuously coming back to you. But here right? Four of Wands and the Empress, to me, it's almost like we're trying to promote stability. Yeah, it's almost like you're trying to teach them a lesson about standing on their own two feet financially. And it feels like at least right now, you guys could, you know, not be on great speaking terms. You just notified them, hey, I won't be able to help you out this time. They got hurt. Um, but it's going to work out in their favor, right? Because that's going to prompt them to now go after what it is that they want. And I know I did kind of mention new love there as well. It's almost like a new respect because the lover's card represents choices. Um, they have to make better choices for themselves. You can't always run to kind of be there for them. And this, of course, is Gemini. That's Scorpio. That's Libra. This is Taurus and Libra. That's Sagittarius. This is Aries, this is Taurus, that's Cancer for me as a reader. This is um, Virgo, this is Gemini, and that's Cancer. Let's see what Angel Answers has for you, Taurus. This to me almost kind of feels like divine timing as well, as in I feel like the universe is saying about time, about time you, you not just, not that you just cut them off, because that's not the message. 
The message is almost like it's about time you stop feeling guilty about whatever this situation was. Always remember these are general readings, so the messages are going to change or shift. I try to keep one storyline, but sometimes there are several, as we talked about, like the new job, new position, new, new financial freedom. And maybe that wasn't you, but maybe that was this person specifically. Oh, nice. Angel answers. Come on out. I just said it. Perfect timing. Get more information. Yeah, they have to start doing research and figuring out how to change the habit of running to you or coming to you for money every time to stand on their own two feet. Uh-oh, these three came out at the same time. If you believe, recovery and forgiveness. Yeah, you have to, it's almost like those messages are for you specifically, Taurus, because if you do have like mom guilt or dad guilt, you got to let that go. You have to believe that you've done all that you could do. You've shown up when you said you were going to show up, right? King of Pentacles, he or she is, um, that you've done enough. Abundance, beautiful. That to me feels like, um, like that aha moment, right? The abundance of, of figuring out and getting is like, all right, I could do this. Like, oh, I was dependent or codependent on dad or codependent on my child or, you know, there was some sort of negative attachment, whether you to them or them to you. And then when that detachment or when you detached, there was that aha moment and the abundance showed up and said, you know something? Yeah, I could do this. I got this. And I feel like the if you believe is hoping, wishing, believing that, yeah, unfortunately cutting them off will make them realize that they can stand on their own two feet, but not just stand on their own two feet, but stand on their own two feet happily and securely. Um, Angels just also said too, as well as financially. Look at that. Luck is on your side. Yeah, this, this feels like a universal event. Have faith in your dreams. Amazing. Confidence is the key to success. Look at that. bring love into the situation. That was the lover's card. What do you love to do, babe? Like you, let's get you on the right path. Let's, you know, so now, right, we're, we may not be giving, or you may not be giving money or physical items, but yeah, you may change that into support. And well, I know somebody here, why don't you try this? Or, you know, I could teach you how to do this and you can get a job doing it, right? It's almost like abundance and support in an intangible way. Conclusions are within reach. Amazing. So it looks as like what it looks as though whatever this situation is, is coming to an end. And although this was a hard decision for you to kind of quote unquote, cut them off. Um, I feel like it was the right thing to do at the right time. And definitely with the high priestess here, that unconscious, subconscious, not unconscious, subconscious energy, the energy of the universe. I feel like both you know it and your your person knows it as well. All right, my lovely Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Love you, Taurus. Bye.